Hi students, I wanna show you how to complete the radiometric dating lab. Of course, as usual, as soon as you are done um, reading the introduction first and maybe highlighting and making some notes, then you're ready to start. For this lab, you need a shoe box or similar size um, carton, which I just used a large Tupperware. You need 100 pennies, which you should be able to get out of your lab kit, or maybe you can find them in your couch. And then you will need a Ziploc bag and a piece of graph paper. And I will go over the graph paper in just a moment. So you're gonna start this experiment with, um, this is meant to simulate um, radioactive de decay and carbon dating, like how, how scientists tell how old something is. So over something called a half-life, a half-life can be a different amount of time for different um, specimens, but the half-life is basically when half of the isotopes um, in a specimen have decayed. So um, scientists calculate that number using a method like this. So you're gonna start where you're gonna have 100 um, heads up pennies, and we're gonna call that headsium, and we're gonna record that at half-life zero. We're gonna put that there was 100 um, heads up pennies. And of the tails down pennies, there were zero to start. So I took the time to go and flip all my pennies, a hundred different pennies, flipping them to make sure that they were all heads up. Okay, so that's how you're gonna start that. Then you're gonna put a lid on your container and you're going to shake this for five seconds and it's gonna be loud in my Tupperware for five seconds. Okay, so after you have done that and flattened out the pennies, what you're going to do is you're going to take the time and remove every single penny that is tails up, tailsium in this, in this simulation. So if it's tails up, you're gonna remove it. Now, just to spare you the time of me counting mine, we're gonna assume that was like 47 um, tails that I took out, which means subtracting from 100 that there were 53 um, heads up. Okay, then I'm after I've removed all the tails up and I just have my 53 heads up, I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna shake it again and I'm gonna fill in these um, other parts of the data table until I have done that four times. Once I have that data, I'm gonna start making my graph. There are different things on this graph that you are going to be graded for. You need to have a legend, you need to have a title, you need to have your Y axis labeled and your X axis labeled. You are actually in high school now at this point, so I expect you to do a line graph and not a bar graph. Bar graphs are okay, but they're kind of a little kiddish. So I'd like to see you move on to that high school adult level where you are using line graphs. You're gonna label your lines and you can even color them and then put that in your legend and you're gonna fill out your entire graph. Once you are done, you're gonna do the conclude and apply, well, the anal analysis questions first and explain um, why you did what you did, how this applies to um, radiometric dating and then you're gonna draw some conclusions about that. So you'll submit that lab and that's how you complete the radiometric dating lab. Good luck.